The purpose of the M1 Neck Ultrasound Lab is to demonstrate the anatomic relationships of the deep vessels, thyroid gland, and other adjacent structures of the neck. The image you are being asked to obtain for this lab assignment is a transverse view of the right lobe of the thyroid gland. The carotid arteries and jugular veins lie anterolaterally in the neck. The right common carotid artery originates at the brachiocephalic trunk. It ascends to the level of the superior border of the thyroid cartilage, where it bifurcates into the internal and external carotid arteries. The right internal jugular vein is a continuation of the dural venous sinus and descends inferiorly through the neck within the carotid sheath to the level of the first thoracic vertebra. The thyroid gland consists of two lobes, the left and right lobes, which are connected by the isthmus. The isthmus lies anterior to the trachea. Note the relationship of the common carotid artery with the lateral aspect of the thyroid. The patient should be lying supine on the examination table. The table can be raised to a comfortable level if needed. A pillow can be placed under the shoulder to provide better access to the thyroid gland by extending the neck. A high-frequency linear array probe with a range of 5 to 13 megahertz is suitable for scanning the deep vessels of the neck and the thyroid gland. Select the carotid preset on the ultrasound device. Place the probe over the area of the right common carotid artery and internal jugular vein. For the transverse view, the probe marker should be facing the patient's right. The common carotid artery will appear circular and pulsatile. Adjust the position of the probe so that the common carotid artery appears in the center of the screen. Angle the probe so that the carotid artery appears round in cross-section. Adjust the depth, gain, and TGC if needed. The lumen of the blood vessels should appear black or anechoic. The position of the internal jugular vein is variable, but will generally appear lateral and slightly anterior to the common carotid artery. Asking the patient to do a Valsalva maneuver will help distinguish the internal jugular vein by causing it to distend. Select the thyroid preset on the ultrasound device. To obtain a transverse view of the thyroid, make sure that the probe marker is facing toward the patient's right. Place the probe on the anterior surface of the neck between the larynx and the suprasternal notch. Adjust the position of the probe so that the thyroid is in the center of the screen. Note the homogeneous echo texture of the normal thyroid gland. This image demonstrates that the thyroid gland is bordered anteriorly by the strap muscles and laterally by the carotid artery and sternocleidomastoid muscle. Posteriorly, the thyroid is bordered by the longus colli muscles. The thyroid gland is more echogenic than the adjacent muscles and blood vessels. Shift the position of the probe so that it is slightly to the right of the midline. Bring the right lobe of the thyroid to the center of the screen and obtain an optimal mid-transverse view. Consult the class handouts for directions on how to submit images once they have been obtained.